Hi, I'm June. Welcome to my channel. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator. I have a blog that you could follow, stampwithjune.com. And today I'm going to be making a floating panel card using all stamping up products. So let's get started. So the base card itself is a little different than typically. It's five and a half by five and a half. Then it's going to get scored at four and a quarter on one side. One score, four and a quarter, down that way. So that's the base. The lowest strip of the card is five and a half by one and a quarter. There is a floating panel, three and a quarter by three and a quarter. There are two pieces of the designer series paper. This color is granny apple green and it's part of the designer series paper cardstock five and a quarter by one. And there's two, two of those. So let's put this card together. I'm going to start by taking the panel. I want to do our stamping first. Let me just set, tell you what we're using today. We're using the Peaceful Moments Bundle. That's a bundle of a set of dies and a set of stamps. If you buy them together, it's a 10% off discount. They're found on page 25 of our new mini catalog that Stamping Up has offered good through June. So I'm going to stamp a happy birthday. I'm going to make this a happy birthday card. Take out the happy birthday stamp right here. And we'll put that on a block. I'm going to be putting my sentiment on the bottom right hand corner because we're going to make it all pretty up here. So let me get my memento black. And we'll stamp it right down here there we go happy birthday and happy birthday to anyone that's watching <laughs> and so i'm going to put this aside right now we'll we'll get back to that one what we will we'll do is fold our card base at that four and a quarter score line and we'll just use our bold and folder right there that's going to be the inside of our card. This is the top of the card. This is gonna be the bottom of the card. And this panel is going to attach the strip to the top, like so. Okay, so let's get started on how we're gonna actually decorate the card. I'm going to take my two designer series paper strips and attach them where they're gonna go Let's use our snail runner. Hope everyone's having a good day today. The weather varies so much around the country, I can't believe it. I'm in sunny Florida right now, and of course it's almost mid-February, and the weather is nice here. <laughs> but if you're living up north, sometimes snow. <laughs> I didn't quite get that on even because I'm busy talking. All right. There we go. The other the other design series paper is going to get put on here. We can just center it like so. So we've started building up the card that will be on the bottom. Now we're going to use different papers for what we're using. Let's take out the dies that we're gonna be using. I'll put this aside, put this aside. The dies we're gonna be using here is this large poppy. This is the poppy outline. This is the detailed die that will go on top of the poppy. And we are gonna use vellum to cut out the bottom section this is just a piece of scrap vellum 
from the Floral Essence um, Suite. There's uh, vellum, nice color vellum, if you want to know where that came from. And we're going to cut out the top outline in Mel uh, Mango Melody, okay? And we'll need to cut out the front of the flower. It goes in the center of the flower. We're going to cut out a leaf, a bunch of leaves, and a stem of leaves. And no, I'm going to use this. This is Granny Apple Green. I'm going to use that for that. And I'm going to use this one big single leaf on the green vellum. Okay. Now, I'm going to go run these through my my die cut machine and I will be right back. Let me get those, I'll grab them. Gonna run them through the die cut. And magically, because of the magic of video, I have them cut out. Okay, so Let's put these components together. I'm going to put together the this flower first. And we're just gonna find, let me glue it first so I don't, I'm, I'll be finding where it goes and then I'll be forgetting. So let me glue it. What I'm gonna do with this is, I like to take our silicone mat or sheet, and I like to I like to put some glue on this. And I have a sponge that I keep for glue only in this closed container. It keeps it moist so it doesn't dry out from time to time and I don't have to wash it. So if I put a chunk of glue right here, because this is so thin, I don't want to get globs of glue on it. So let me turn it on its back side there. I'm going to take the sponge and dip it in the glue and just start patting it down on the backside of the outline flower that we want to put it on. So here we go. We're going to attach that right to the vellum. I just have to figure out which is which. Come on. This one, nope. This way, nope. This way, yes. Okay, so there we go. Try to line that up nice so it doesn't peek through at all. There we go. So isn't that pretty? I like the uh, the element of the vest, the the vellum, the see through effect. I think it adds nice um, texture to the flower, nice contrast. So that one I did. This one is the one leaf we need. I'm gonna put this in the center. And since I have this out, I might as well just use that. Put that back in there. And that's the center. Now doesn't that even give it that pop of color, that ma uh, mango melody is quite a sh striking color. Okay, so my plan is to put the flower as so, right here. Isn't that pretty? And perhaps I'll put the leaf like so, and the vellum leaf like so. Okay, so that's that's the plan. I'm going to, I like to do a dry run, so I didn't put any glue in. I figure out where I want it. I think I want it to hang off a little bit because it'll show up nice. You'll see once the card is complete. And I'm sticky, okay. All right, so I'm gonna take the flower. I'm going to put a little bit of glue down here because that's going to be underneath the flower. And I don't want to see the glue through the vellum. So you always have to, when you're working with vellum, you try to hide the glue as much as you can because it doesn't look so pretty when you see it from the front side of the vellum. I'm going to put that there. That's not vellum, and I don't have to worry so much. And I'm going to take two dimensionals, 
The dimensionals are little sticky spots that come on this sheet if you're not familiar with them. They work to add a nice height to your um, elements that you're putting on the card to give it that nice professional look. And I'm gonna put that up there. And I stuck to the paper here. The joys of video. Okay, turned out good. So this here, what we're gonna do is take back our card base and the bottom strip that we had, and we're going to attach it like so. And let me do that. I'll put glue just on the top of the panel, the bottom of the panel. And let's try to line this part up down here as well as you can to keep it even so it looks neat when the card is closed. I'm gonna hold this down because it's going to attach itself to the upper panel with, with the uh, panel itself here. I'm gluing, pressing down, and there we have it. Isn't that pretty? I'm gonna do, um, it needs a little something more. So I'm going to take, I'm going to take our Stampin' Up Pearl embellishments I take your pick tool. No, what I'm first going to do is I have our Stampin' Blends. This is the color Mango Melody to match the outline of the flower. I'm going to take the brush tip and paint the pearl. Where'd you go, you little sucker? It's over here. Paint the pearl. All right, let it stick to my finger with the Mango Melody so we have a nice color coordinating take your pick up we go i'm gonna place one here uh, and one there and one there come on there we go